Welcome to another edition of the CS Podcast, where you can hear interviews with special guests such as Dayon Buchanan, Tom Waddle, Pierre Desir, Brent Barry, Ed Werder, and many others. Too big, too strong, too fast, too good. So be sure to subscribe and tune in to the CS Podcast on YouTube at youtube.com slash christianre722. Did you not get the memo? That's www.youtube.com slash christianre722. For great interviews, be sure to check out the CS Podcast. You are ridiculous! Welcome back to the CS Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Shanafel, and I'm now joined by 2015 NFL Draft Prospect, running back out of the University of Akron, Jawan Chisholm. I appreciate you taking some time to chat, Jawan. How's it going? How's it going, Chris? I appreciate you for having me. Hey, the pleasure's all mine. I certainly can't complain. I'm doing very well, and let's get right to it, Juwan. Uh, coming out of Harrisburg High School in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, you uh, had a lot of success. You were named the Mid-Pen Player and Offensive Player of the Year, as well as being named to the Mid-Pen Commonwealth First Team as a junior and senior. I just want to start off by asking, uh, how did you decide to uh, attend the University of Akron and play for the Zips? Uh, actually, Chris, I had a... Uh a ton of schools on the East Coast that was looking at me. Uh, a lot, a lot of serious inquiries. But uh, like most kids, I, I fell through the, through the grade requirements and uh, I probably had a little bit of things that I still had to uh, go. And University of Akron was the only team that really took a like a long shot with me. Like they waited till I got done with summer school. They waited till I uh, succeeded on my SATs and my ACT. Uh, so. I always wanted to go to Akron once they showed me that type of love. They told me they'd wait for me, type of things like that. And other schools just, you know, it's on to the next man. And that's, that's how the business goes, so I kind of respect it. It wasn't a big deal or not, uh, nothing. But I feel like God put me there for a certain reason, and I feel like I uh, stayed there. You you ended up redshirting your first year there, and as a redshirt freshman, you were able to start 10 of the 12 total games that you played in that season. You ultimately put up your best season yardage-wise with 961 yards that uh, redshirt freshman year of yours, and really ever since then, you've been the starting running back for the Zips. Uh, the first few years, including the year you redshirted, uh, those were some tough seasons for you guys as a team. Uh, from the 2010 season through the 2012 season, you guys went 1-11 in in each of those uh, three seasons. Uh, uh, even though one of those seasons you weren't on the field at all, how tough was it to go 3-33 and in three years? Uh, did, did you ever lose any motivation to play the game when your team was constantly on the uh, losing end of the scoreboard? Uh, not at all, man. I, uh, Akron took a chance on me. Uh, it was never a give up with them. Uh, I went, I went, my freshman year I didn't play. We was 111 that year, too. Uh, the next year, where I ran for the 961 yards, I was in a pro style. Then I had 218 carries. You know, again, taking a little bit of beating, but that wasn't no big deal. And coming in, we had a new coaching staff come in, and we went 111 that season, too. Uh, yards to say, yards to tell you that I probably didn't get as much yards as I did when I was a freshman it's because I had more carries. And the yards that I had as a sophomore was my yards per carry was way better than my yards as a freshman. So it was all about, it was never about giving up. I don't have given up in me. I'm from I'm from a city where I, a lot of people probably won't make it, don't make it out, and the ones that make it out, man, you got to be strong to survive. And I just feel like I was that that strong, strong of a person to survive, no matter what it was. Three and thirty-three, that was the best time of my life in college. And just to get, I wouldn't give up on no one that ever gave up on me. So they didn't ever give up on me. I never give up on Akron, and I never did, even when we was five and seven to the one and eleven team. That's just my spirit. That's just my pride, man. It's more than a pride and a brotherhood with us. So it was more. It was more just taking it day by day, and yes, it got frustrating at times, but also when we started winning years later down the line, I mean, it got better, and I feel like uh, leaving out of Akron, I, we started a new a new era of Akron, and I think Akron have yet, uh, yet to come, yeah, you know, the best have yet to come. That's great. That's great. Now let's fast forward to your junior year. Last season, uh, like you said, you guys have new coaching staff. It's head coach Terry Bowden's second year. And as a team, you guys had the best season the Zips have seen in quite a while at 5-7, and 4-4 four and four in the MAC. Uh, Juwan, you were able to run for 870 yards and a career-high eight touchdowns. Uh, how, how did it feel to get you know a handful of wins under your belt that season? It was great. It was great for me, but also I knew I was coming to the end of my career. I was a junior. It was, I, I felt like real... Man, I just felt real happy for the, you know, for kids coming in and the kids that they get to recruit now. It was more of a team thing with me. I was never, I never really cared about myself for real, if you, if you want to be honest with it. I always, I always was a guy, I don't talk a lot, 
but the guys that I do talk to, you know, and when I did talk, it would always meant something. So every time I said something, I feel like people caught on to it. And I didn't really, I never really rapped about that type of stuff. I just wanted to help the players out as best as, that, as, best as I can as an older guy. It, it, uh, stats and, uh, you know, the rest of that stuff didn't really matter to me. Well, uh, like you said, you're a team player, so your your individual set sounds like you could care less as as long as the team is winning. But what were your uh, both individual and team expectations for this past season, knowing that it'll be your final go around at the college level? I always say my expectations for myself was just just go out there each each game and do what I do because I give my hundred percent all each game. I prepare each game one hundred percent. So I feel like if you do that, that's one hundred percent. If you do that during the weekend, preparing yourself you're going to give you 100% in the game, and I always did that. So whatever my stats was at the end of the season, I always knew I gave 100%. I never had any individual goals, but for us, it was make a, uh, it was make a bowl game and uh, win eight games, which we fell short of. But, you know, some things happen, and that's the way football goes, and we accepted it, and still I feel like the actor still still the best ever yet to come. Mm-hmm. This past season, you, you guys finished with a final record of 5-7. and seven. You said the goal was eight games. You fell short of that. But you guys did get a solid win against Pitt, which was pretty impressive. You are also able to run for over uh, 600 yards, eight touchdowns once again. Uh, how do you feel this final season of yours went? I feel like it went, I feel like it went great, actually. Uh, I didn't play all 12 games. Uh, I actually missed the Pitt game. But the Pitt game, I had, I had three carries in there. I was really banged up from the uh, Penn State game. I missed Marshall. So I was like, I played ten games just about this year, and I was I was just battling through injuries, man, just trying to help the team as best as I can. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the season, I came on a little bit down the stretch. I started getting a little bit more healthier. So it was just it it, it, it was just like you know just going in there and for him to do that to pit, man, that was that was real big for the school though. Because when we got back, I never seen anyone waiting in line like they were as far as getting off the bus, and just the whole just the whole. Team spirit, the whole, the whole chemistry, the whole organization, man, they were so proud because that's that's a big step into a small school like that. Absolutely, absolutely, that's uh, awesome to hear. And Jawan, you've you've been the starting running back pretty much ever since you put on the pads for the Zips. From start to finish, how would you describe your overall college football experience? Man, a grind, uh, frustration sometimes. Got to hold it in. Uh, Fun, man. It, 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 it's just a whole bunch, all in one. It, it was a whole bunch of joy and a whole bunch of pain. But you also have to feel that pain and feel the joy at the end. And I feel like that's what my college career shaped up to be. You know, the, the pain came in the beginning and the joy came at the end with the five games. Man, I was I was just as happy as anyone else, just as happy as the organization and the team because I know that's a big step. I know you can't make miraculous uh, jumps every like you know like most teams. So I feel like small steps at a time is the building process, and I feel like that's what we did with the two, five, and seven seasons. Not saying that's good by any means, but coming from a one and eleven season, three three years in a row, man, I didn't see the I didn't see the program turn around uh, the whole three sixty, man. I couldn't even I couldn't be more happy for the program. Well, there, there's definitely no doubt that uh, you know the arrow's only pointing upwards uh, for the Akron Zips football team. Uh, Juwan, who would you say is the best or most impressive player you've played against? I said Jimmy Ward, safety from North right. Illinois. All right. Safety from Northern Illinois is a second-round draft pick to go to our first-round draft pick for uh, San Fran last year. All right, it sounds Francisco good. 49ers. Sounds good. This show's broadcasted out of Chicago, so definitely familiar with Jimmy Ward, NIU's very own. Th- this might be a- another tough one for you, Juwan. If you had to single out one, what's the biggest or most memorable play that you've made throughout your uh, college football career? You want to know what? That's not even hard. It's easy. Uh, I would say my last college. My last college career uh, carry was an 80 yard touchdown to put us up versus our rival, uh, 24 to 20. But you know, it went a little sour at the end. They had to make, they made a uh, heck of a drive, 80 yard drive, and that was my last carry, man. I just thought to go out like that and to get 100 percent of preparation, like I said, and just just preparing and man, that that was the, that had to be the biggest run, man. My coach. Told me he loved me at the end, man, because I know how much that means to him. You know how much it meant to me just to go out like that. But, you know, it happened a different way. But that was the most memorable uh, carry of my college career. 
That's great. Uh, man, that's that's awesome. Now, Juwan, you and I have chatted a little bit before this interview, and we talked a little bit about your former teammate of yours at Akron, running back Quentin Hines. He spent a little time with the New England Patriots as a rookie last season. Whether it was him or somebody else, uh, have you been able to talk to anybody who has had experience at the next level, and have they given you any advice as to what to expect during this draft process? Uh, yeah, I talk, I talk a lot to uh, a, a guy by the name of Danny Lansana. Uh Absolutely. Now, let's say there's an NFL general manager listening to this very interview. Why should he want running back out of the University of Akron, Jawan Chisholm, a part of his team? Man, I love football. I'm a team player. Uh, I put God first. Man, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just down to do whatever, just about anything. If it's, if it's running out to go hand a coat some water, if that's my job, that's my job. I just want to be, I just want to be the best player I can be or whatever it is that they put me at. And I'm going to give my all no matter what it is, 100%. And at the end of the day, and when, I, when I walk off the field, I never have any regrets because I know I gave 100%. And I let, never let my teammates down. And also, and also I mean, I, I've been a four-year starter and only missed one, one or two games. I mean, I don't know most backs that do that. So I feel like I'm adorable and I can help a lot of teams. You can definitely see that when you turn on your highlights, and uh, that, that's actually what I, what I want to get to right now. When I turn on your highlights, Jawan, it seems like uh, you, you have a great burst of speed. You know how to follow your blockers. Uh, I, I certainly like what I see. What do you feel is your biggest strength as a, as a running back? Uh, I feel like my biggest strength is, is my explosiveness. I feel like, uh, and my size, I feel like I get one and a half steps in every five yards. So when I'm running, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's not like a memorable thing, but it's just like a muscle memory. That's what I do when I'm running them five yards. I can, get, I can get from point A to point B real fast, especially for my size of six foot. And how about and I'm, a, and I'm very athletic. All right, all right. And how about a weakness? Is there anything specific that uh, you, you plan on taking some time to improve on during the off season? I forget about how weaknesses. Uh, the weakness is just, just working out. Just, I mean, just, just putting that, just perfecting your craft each time, man. It's, it's, no matter what it is, just perfect that craft. And whether it's, whether it's bursting through a hole or seeing your vision better, whatever it is, man, just perfect your craft. That's what I always try to do no matter what. It's not one weakness. I just try to correct everything when I watch film. And if I see, if I, if I see like a little false or if I see something I don't like, I make sure I correct that at the next practice or at least try to. Chris Shanfeld talking with 2015 NFL Draft prospect Jawan Chisholm, running back out of Akron. And Jawan, uh, when did you realize that the NFL may not only be a dream, but it could become a reality? Man, probably after my, my sophomore year, going into my junior year, I just, I, I just seen guys that I grew up with that uh, made it thus far. And I just, I just got confidence out of the world, man. I just believe I can do whatever I can put my mind into. And... When I made up my mind, I felt like that's what I could do. You, you've definitely had an interesting journey to get to where you're at today. Why do you believe you deserve a shot in the NFL? Man, I've had every obstacle thrown at me in my in my life, and I haven't done nothing but overcome every single last one of them. Not one time that I asked for forgive. I mean, not forgiveness. Not one time that I asked for a handout. Not one time that I beg anyone. Not one time that I, you know, just do the things that other people didn't do, and Man, I just, I just been through the most, man. And no matter what it was, I always knew God had me through whatever situation it was. And no matter what happens at the end of the day, I'm going to give 100% every day. And you'll see the 100% in me from the time I come in to the time I leave. You'll see the hard work that I did. 2015 NFL Draft prospect running back out of Akron, Jawan Chisholm, joining the CS Podcast. And Jawan, just a couple more questions for you, then I'll let you go. I really do appreciate your time, man. Uh, if you would compare yourself to a running back currently playing in the NFL, who do you think that would be and why? I appreciate you as well, Chris. I appreciate you for having me on here, man. That's, that's, that's really big for me. Not too many people reach out. But like I said, uh, I wouldn't. Uh, my dad said DeMarco Murray. But I say no, but I feel like I'm my own unique style. I feel like uh, I can play any style. I feel like I play that two. I play at 205 pounds, 
as of now, but I played as 215 as a freshman, 215, 220. I can play pro style. I can play, uh, I can play uh, spread offense. It doesn't matter what you put me in. I can play whatever you want to play. And also, I'm always going to give 100%. I'm a respectful man. Uh, I do what's asked, and I never give any type of power. I'll never bring any negativity around any team, and I just want to work hard and to give my all. Absolutely. Now, has there uh, been any scouts in and out of the University of Akron? Have you been able to chat with any of them? Uh, some came down. I never was really in- interested into that, you know, because uh, uh, Shrimp Coach just told us just work hard and all the rest of that come to you. Mm-hmm. And I find like I work hard as, I just work as hard as anybody in the, in the nation if you want to ask me. And if, that, if, if, if it's that time, I feel like it's that time. And I feel like I work that hard and I feel like God got a plan. And I feel like this is the plan. Right on. And uh, last but not least, Jawan, what's next for you? I mean, the draft is from April 30th to May 2nd. you have any uh, plans to visit any uh, training facilities or anything like that planned? Uh, actually, I leave the 29th uh, to go train down in Atlanta with a guy named Anthony Glaw, uh, AG, to call him. Uh, and it's uh, called FS2, based in Atlanta. So I just talked to him yesterday, and my agent got me hooked up with him. So everything's going good right now, man. I got to... I got a wonderful staff, I think. Not a staff, but a wonderful, you know, agent and a good team around him. And I feel like everything is going to work in my favor with God, God's plans. No matter what it is, God got the last say so. So. Sounds good, sounds good. Uh, that Definitely some great stuff right there. And, uh, Jawan, man, I, like I said, I really do appreciate your time. It really was great talking to you. I'm wishing you nothing but the best throughout this process. Do you have anything else before I let you go? No, sir, I just want to say I appreciate you for everything, man. Hey, thanks a lot, Juwan. Uh, Once again, wishing you nothing but the best, and take care, all right, man?